Can you spell exhilarating? That describes the Scripps National Spelling Bee, which is happening just outside Washington, D.C. Kristen Volk is there, and Kristen, I hear the words aren't so easy. They certainly aren't, Brendan. These kids are spelling words I've never even heard of, but the spellers we spoke to today say they're not that hard, especially because they've studied a lot to get to this stage. There are 278 Olympians in their own right. Masters of the English language and spelling prodigies. I am really excited. I'm just having a lot of fun and it's really cool. The Scripps National Spelling Bee is back and 10-year-old Vanya Shivashankar Devilation. is just one of the elite spellers competing to win a $30,000 cash prize and the title of national champion. I'm so proud to be here and supporting her and watching her spell on stage. Vanya hopes to follow in big sister Kavya's footsteps. She won three years ago. I'm probably more nervous than I was the first two years. Howdy, Dr. Bailey. 13-year-old Sunny Levine hopes the third time is the charm. Her word today? Dermotactile. Wow, that's a big word. Not really. Dermotactile. Levine spelled it right today, putting her one step closer to her goal of making it to tomorrow's final rounds. I want to win. 11-year-old Rochelle Zampella studied words differently to make it into this competition. Well, I read in Braille and write in Braille. Yes. Zampella, who is visually impaired, wears bee earrings for good luck. Mesmerized. Mesmerized also describes how more kids are fascinated with words today than ever before. Since 1976, we have had international participation in the bee, but in recent years, the interest has exploded. Which is why the bee's director announced this week that Scripps will start hosting international competitions as early as next year. So the love of spelling translates into every language, not just English. More than 200 spellers are getting eliminated from the competition as we speak. Unfortunately, we don't know the fate of the Cincinnati area spellers yet, but we do know that six-year-old Lorianne Madison, the youngest speller in the competition, unfortunately is not going through to tomorrow's rounds. Brendan? Uh, Kristen Volk reporting live from the Scripps National Spelling Bee in Maryland. Thanks. And the spellers in this year's competition rage in age, range in age from 6 to 15 years old. Try spelling that. But 84% are between the ages of 12 and 14 years old. 48.9% are boys. 51.1% are girls. Nine News is on your side with complete coverage of the Scripps National Spelling Bee on air, online at WCPO.com and on your mobile device. You can watch the finals tomorrow night live at 8 o'clock on ESPN.